No! No! Horse! Alright guys, welcome back. We have made it back to the camp. And I think we're supposed to have some kind of party. Um, I really don't know what we're supposed to do yet. Uh, it said come back here and... I guess that's what we're supposed to do. Uh, it's a little yellow thing right here. So... I guess we gotta go hunt some bounty. Uh, the game looks kind of dark. Um, when I was editing the video, so if it's dark, guys, let me know. I try to. I turned the brightness all the way up. If I can fix something, I'm gonna try. But. This is our man. You a bounty hunter, mister? Maybe. It depends. Well, I'm guessing you ain't here to pass the day, turn yourself in, or discuss the finer points of county law. Then I don't need to know much more than that until I got a reason to. All right. You smell that? This here's a livestock town, mister. Tracks delinquents and reprobates like flies. Now, I'm not a fellow to pass a quick judgment, but I've been around long enough to know you don't hire a saint to catch a sinner. You bring me what I need, and I'll pay you well, and I won't ask no questions. So, what is it you need? Why don't you have a look at that poster on the wall over there? He's a low-down huckster. And poisoning folks with his miracle cure from here to Ansburg. Killed more than Landon Ricketts without even pulling a trigger. Get some kind of sick satisfaction out of it. Feller over at the saloon says he thought he saw him by the gorge straight north of here. You think you can bring him in? The money's good. I need him alive, though. I want to make sure the women he witted get compensated before he swings. I'll see what I can do. Well, good luck to you. I guess. And we need him alive. That's an important point. Alive. I got it. They said, uh, you must to go to sleep in this game. And, uh, if you don't, your person will get tired. And, uh, he would just start looking straight down. That's one of my friends told me. So. We should have, we probably should have went to sleep. <laughs> like. Benedict Albright. Oh, sir? Huh. Kind of look like him. And I was told he'd be up here. No, uh, not me, sir. It's because I want to buy some medicine. And I heard him. Uh, I heard good things. I'll pay in gold. If you could help me find him. It's just... My mother's real sick. Oh! Well, if that's the case... If it's for a sick woman, I'd be happy to help. I'm a healer, you know? A medical man. A healer. Medical Finest man. Finest medicine in the state. <laughs> Game's over, mister. Put your hands up. Taking you in. Taking me in? What for? Apparently that stuff you're pushing is killing folk. Now the price on your head. I don't know. It ain't my business. Oh, partner, that's crap. I'm a healer. I got an aura. I speak to spirits. I'm a scientist. Folks get real angry for no good reason. This, this is a mistake. Keep your hands up, buddy. They only want you for questioning. I have to insist that this is a mistake. Don't be a fool. I probably gotta pull him up, do I? Hold on. I'm slipping. Ah, uh, pull him up, Arthur. Pull him up, Arthur. Pull him up. What's happening? What's happening? What? Come on, get up there. God. Oh, you saved me. Now come on, buddy. Let's make this easy. What, you're taking me in? It's just for question. Oh, you saved my life. 
Ain't we had enough drama? I, I'd be better off jumping. I, they expressly told me not to kill you. What? Oh, this is about you. Don't jump. Or, or what? You can't shoot me. No. Please. I'll take my chance. Come here. Now, bye, friend. Are we going after them? We're going after them, baby. Let's go. Can I look out the rapids? Hold your breath. No, no, horse. Can you get back up? Are you still alive? I'm sorry. What's the no, that's the second time. Keep your head above water. Yeah, I. We're just dragging his body. Fish on the line. Who made you God, friend? Who made you judge? I'm only in it for the money. That's even worse. I'm sure it does seem that way. Knocked him straight out. Alright. Let's take you in. Gotta loot him. Can we go put him back on my horse or? Expecting you back so soon, uh, Mrs. Calthorpe was uh, just leaving. Sure. Where you want him? He was selling the back. Just drop him here. I guess so. <laughs> okay. So I was totally confused. I was like, dude, we did drop him here. Terrible mistake. I never did it. Any of it. I thought I told you to shut up, partner. But nothing. Shut up. And, uh, good luck. It's been real fun. You ain't much of a man. If you ask folks for forgiveness, you remember this, partner. I've already forgotten. Now, sure, um, how much was you offered? Uh, $50. Here. Thank you. Madam. Uh, please. Secure the bag. I told you. Simple. Oh, so y'all lot lot. I bet. So guys, we're supposed to inspect this letter. Dear Arthur, I've written this letter a hundred times or more and I cannot get it right. It's me. You know it's me from the bad handwriting. I know I said when we last spoke, and I was going off to get married, that we would not speak again. I know I said a lot of things, and I meant them, I suppose, at the time. But I'm not so proud as to not speak to people who care for me, or cared for me. I've been in Valentine for a couple of months. I had some bad luck, and, well, it's a long story, and not an interesting one. But I am here for now. I saw a couple of the girls 
or whatever the polite term is for them, that ran with you and your associates in town. And I heard tell of a man who sounded like you. I would love to see you again, if you could spare me a little bit of your time. I'm renting a room at Chadwick Farm, just north of Valentine. Yours, Mary Linton. Wow. That's great. What do you want? Uncle told me something about a train. <sighs> what did he say? Mary Beth overheard something about a train full of wealthy folk rolling down through Scarlet Meadows just south of the state border. Yes. You need help with it? I ain't even sure about doing it. Come on. At night, not too guarded, it's perfect. Nah, I ain't thought it through. <laughs> you know, stopping a train, pain in the ass. Sure. But what if we could force a train to stop? <laughs> well, of course. We get a wagon full of something flammable, oil. Put it on the tracks. They see it. They know they either have to stop or die. Ain't no train driver wants to be cooked alive. That is kind of brilliant. Uh, for you. <laughs> and that is a real idea. I think that's the first time you ever had one of them. <laughs> Shut up. You might be the first bastard to ever have half his brains eaten by a wolf and end up more intelligent. So we're doing it? Yeah, we're gonna need ammunition, guns, look real frightening, and some dynamite to open up the train. I'll get the supplies. Gotta head into town for Abigail anyway. Don't even ask. You go find us an oil wagon. Yeah, I know just the place. They're always heading into that refinery. There's an old rundown shack just over the border, north of a place called Dewberry Creek. Leave it hidden somewhere near there. Uh, we gotta cross that border again, guys. Don't want to go over there, boy. Oh, no, 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 what the what? Go, 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 go. What are you doing? What are you? I am, go, now. He is. Oh my god, I just want to do my missions. I want to know how they're staying up with me. There's no... What? Just happened. What just happened?
So, how are we supposed to use... How are we supposed to... Alright, we got it! Where we gotta go? Where do we have to go? Over here. We are currently going the wrong way too. So let's turn this baby around, let's go! We call this, we call this the sleepy shortcut. Oh my gosh, I'm so, this is like so fun, <laughs> so intense. There's no way I couldn't kill all of them. I'm wanted. <laughs> Gotta get it done somehow, boys. When there's a wheel, there's a way. There's a way, there's a wheel. That was so deep. I feel like we shouldn't stay on the path. Because if we would have stayed on there, they would have just followed us. Yeah. Kept on following us. Right? <gasps> Why? <gasps> Why? Why did I have to do this? <laughs> Why? Oh my god! Alright. Oh, we got a we got a checkpoint! Okay. Oh god, okay. We got a checkpoint. <laughs> Dude, oh, that was so depressing. We made it. We made it, boys. Yep. That was it? That was... I just... I just completed my life right there. <laughs> this is... I did not know you could do that. <laughs> I did not know you can do that. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Well, right there, guys, that was so funny. <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. All right, we're gonna Jose. Excuse me, we're gonna uh, Jose Matthews next. Let's get straight to it.